Alex here, and today we are making another Feather Family video. In today's video, we actually do have another bird here to show you guys. I do believe that this bird was meant to go with the whole Halloween thing because it is a morph, and I, well, not a morph, a hybrid. Why did I say morph? I don't know. <laughs> it is a morph, but it's what I meant to say was hybrid. I do believe, though, that this bird is supposed to be a mythological creature kind of like the phoenix and the griffin this one is supposed to be from a myth or something with this scary chicken snake bird that i don't know i i, I don't even <laughs> i don't know if it like kills people or something i have no clue what the myth is with it but i do know there is supposed to be like a myth behind it something something mythical creature you know but this bird is called the cockatrice um hopefully i said that correctly but we're gonna play as it i have not played as it yet i just bought it so yeah i think it came out either just today or yesterday probably came out yesterday because i didn't know about it until today and yeah <laughs> But here we go, new, and then we got our, our cockatrice guy, spooky looking. <laughs> so, um, I think it's just supposed to be a mix of a chicken and a snake. That is what the description said. All right, so, well, it's not, it's, it is a snake. It said serpent, so serpent, snake, chicken hybrid. <laughs> But let's let's play as the um spooky egg. As you can see, this egg is not like the other eggs. It looks like it has scales all over it, which is odd. I think I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, also, there was an update, I do believe, with the flower biome that some of you were telling me about. It's now the fantasy field. Different name, I do believe. I wasn't really called the flower biome. I think it was called the flower field. But you know, still, different name than it had before this looks really different it kind of reminds me more of like the ice mountain no thank you hold on let me turn those off because i realize if i don't turn them off now a lot of people will be requesting me to join their parties which obviously doesn't just happen to me a lot of people just see it joining the game and they're like oh <gasps> <laughs> but um oh my goodness do i have to fall down here i might have to fall down here <laughs> oh uh <laughs> i thought i was gonna like fall off but i kind of just continued rolling down and then <laughs> all right so look, look look these stone things you know that i have been finding everywhere around the map they are now all here in the um name fantasy field <laughs> sorry i kind of forgot the name um but there are all these stones i have not found them all yet i do believe i found that one that one this blue one here i think i found the dark blue one I don't think I found the orange one, but I I think I found most of them at least. Because I can't remember if I found the white one or not. Or if the white one I did find and the light blue one I didn't. I don't know. If you guys are like watching my videos in order and stuff, maybe maybe you know. But <laughs> we've been playing this game for a while and I still cannot even remember what I've seen and why I've seen it. But I see, I don't understand though. I still don't kind of get like the whole story thing behind it because now you can see that they're all here so something is definitely going on but again i have no clue they could turn it into like something cool with like a little story of their own and then just create a bird out of that or say something happened where this bird was brought back although you know we already have a lot of the birds brought back like most of the extinct ones <gasps> Oh my gosh, the tower looks new. This crane is following me. <laughs> I think it's confused why I look like this. I mean, yes, I am a very odd looking egg and I am just rolling like a stone. That is what we call <laughs> rolling stone. No, I'm just kidding. But, oh, look, there's another one. Hey there, buddy. Hi. Oh my, is a dad. Aw, heck. <laughs> He's a dad, man. Put him down. All right, hold on let's try and go over here to the door entrance <gasps> ah okay well there's a baby tree in here 
And if you guys remember the last tower, there was actually a bigger tree in here. It was kind of like a tall, skinny blossom tree, which usually they aren't really tall and skinny because they usually look more like that. But there was a tall and skinny blossom tree in here. I wonder if this will like grow up as the game goes on or something. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe they could like start making their own types of birds. I don't know if they really go out and do that though because they've been mainly staying in the category of birds that are already existing or mythical birds. I don't know if they'd really go and create their own, but if they did, you know, they might have something with the blossom trees, the soccer trees. I, I just, I don't know what name you want to use. <gasps> oh my gosh, a baby one. Hold on. I can, I can do that too. Let me just hatch here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I can choose what I hatch into. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but I'm supposed to be hatching into this little guy here. Mwaha. I look like a duck, actually. Crazy. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. We are actually kind of small. All these newer birds are actually quite small. Pick me up. All right, let's go. Take me places I've never been before. I actually think I have been to mainly everywhere except for, you know, the new flower biome. I mean, fantasy field. My bad. <laughs> but I have not really checked this place out. So that is kind of what we're doing. Checking out this bird and checking out the map. Look, we're getting a little... Um, detour here flying around looking at everything hopefully they don't just drop me because i have a feeling that they might they just want to drop me off the edge all right so now i am being just uh, taken to an area i'm just gonna you know walk <laughs> uh because i saw this sign all right go to halloween village oh what 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 uh oh <laughs> okay well apparently there is a sign that you can click that takes you to the village here uh <laughs> we might go back to the fantasy field because i don't think i finished exploring over here that is kind of cool that there's a sign here now i don't know did they put that in other areas as well hold on hello any signs that take me to the village? I'm not seeing any. Any in the sanctuary? No? <laughs> okay, then. I guess it's just this area. Then that's okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I jumped that. I am an athletic um, chicken serpent thingy. <laughs> Ooh, I like these tunnels. Like, this looks so nice. It's really dark in here, though. But it does look nice. Whoa. Hey. Going. Oh, it's taking me anywhere? Nope. Just a giant puddle. <laughs> um, all right, walking around in circles, walking around in circles. Hey, all right, so... I don't know. I'm kind of confused on what I've seen and what I haven't. So I guess they just completely redid this whole area, though. I can't fly as a child, can I? Nope. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let's see. Can we fly as the adult? Do you want to grow? Um, Cape Current Colors, please. <gasps> Boom. All right. Well, we do have wings, so I would believe we can fly, but you know... That is a thing you say with most birds that have wings and then it turns out they can't fly. It's kind of sad, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's fly. Ooh, the tower looks more like a mushroom now. I think that's what they were going for. Oh, look, there's a giant room in here now. There's a bed. Oh, a bed. And there's a throne here. Someone decided to put their nest right on the throne. <laughs> um, there's like a little library and stuff. Yeah, love stuff. <laughs> All right, this is cool. I like that. And I also like that the tower kind of resembles a mushroom now because before it was kind of just pointed at the top, but now it is definitely more mushroom-like. <laughs> Alright, um, time to check out the little animation things like we usually do. Dude is trying to be spooky. Um, we got sitting, uh, eating. We got some sharp teeth, you know? Fear me. <laughs> we have the hurt. So in case someone dares attack me, I, I might fake dead, you know? 
Just be like, ow, that hurt, man. Ooh, okay, well that's- I don't see how you'd get anybody if you were to kind of spook them like that. I didn't realize we had a tongue. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love- if you guys know me, I love those kind of tongues though. They're kind of cute. Like when they just bloop them out, they just stick them out real quick and they go- <laughs> like that is so cute. <laughs> Alright, we got the preen. <gasps> I love that. <laughs> Wait, there's magic? Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! I have- I have magic eyes! Uh-oh. Well, better watch out. I have no clue what the powers of this guy is because if you guys know anything about the phoenix, I do believe that it is basically an immortal bird. So once it dies, it, you know, just respawns. <laughs> I mean, it does have to go through the whole growing up process again, but you know, it just, it rebirths <laughs> as soon as it dies. This guy, I have no clue what he does. I guess his eyes glow. That's something. I don't know if he has like Medusa power or something, you know, where you stare into his eyes and then boom, you're stone. I mean, that, that could be what's happening here, but I don't think so. <laughs> I, again, don't really know much about this myth. If any of you guys really like mythology or just, I guess, just myths, not mythology, mythology, but like actual myths and stuff that you obviously know probably aren't real but you're like that's kind of cool um if you know anything about this one i would like to know because i mean this one just kind of seems cool and again i've heard about it but i have no clue what the story behind it is why <laughs> why it's a giant chicken that snake mutant thingy <laughs> i have no clue oh wait this place is right next to the um volcano area and there's a little walkway to get from here to there. Oh, that's kind of cool. <gasps> the bottom of my tail has like a tiny little heart. Or it's probably just an arrow to stab you with. <laughs> but it, it could be a heart on my tail, you know? Look at it that way and it's much nicer. Yes. You know, I am obviously the most handsomest bard you've ever seen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, its beak is so crooked though, and it has sharp teeth. I do like its like body though, how it goes from chicken to just- It looks more like a dragon, honestly, than like a snake bird, but you know, it's interesting. <laughs> but um, anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe to be part of Life Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!